Hello there, Libra, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good. And Libra, in case you don't know how it works on this channel, is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long. And it is for you, Libra, so I do hope you enjoy this. And it does resonate for the most part. If not, oh my goodness, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. Look at you, Libra. Hmm. Libra, this is a time where you can do what you feel is necessary and right for you. You know, this is a time where maybe you are taking time uh, to weigh your decisions carefully, to really look at the pros and cons of things. You might be in a place of, you know, also harvesting. I'm hearing the word harvesting results. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, so you must have been in the uh, Seven of Pentacles or Ten of Wands energy, and now we're in this place of um, having you know what you have sown you shall reap here okay and justice is associated with libra so this is a time for you to feel powerful to be strong okay now i want to see what's okay <clears throat> some kind of contract here too maybe a love contract maybe a spiritual contract maybe a combination of both also, you know, real con, you know, real solid, you know, material contracts as well. Hmm. Okay. New opportunity is on the horizon. So some of you pay attention right now. I do feel you may need to take a little time to contemplate, to visualize what you want or, or excuse me, want, or, uh, to believe that an opportunity is going to be available, even if Maybe there was a situation that was a downer. I <laughs> just see the, the, the scales going, it's like, you know, that's like, mm. but what's so interesting is like, maybe these th three cups weren't so fulfilling, or maybe it just wasn't the right one. But here we've got this um, other cup over here and you've got that scale that's going up. And it's kind of interesting because it's kind of, uh, it, you know, in sync with how these are um, placed, you know, the three cups. And it's down where you got that one cup, you know, that's of a higher value is what I'm seeing. So uh, trust that this is a, um, a, a time where you can have confidence in your decisions. And also um, there's something new coming into your life that um, possibly can stick around, you know, for as long as you want it to. So let's see. Let's see what else is going to come out. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Four of Cups there. Wow, Libra, you're just all over the place. Okay, what is going on? Why is she coming out like that? <clears throat> I was kind of getting, getting this feeling of like maybe feeling upside down about things. Here you are though, Queen of Swords is um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You know, you're eliminating what's not necessary. Um, you might be getting down to the bottom of the truth of a situation here. Okay, so this came out a little weird. Okay, yeah, I, I felt something challenging with this. Okay, tough and trying times, right? T uh, tough times ahead, think long-term. Ooh, and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. And that's really what the Queen of Swords gets down to. She gets down to the bottom of things here. You do need to avoid negative people at all costs or it's gonna cost you. Now, if you've been struggling with something, you need to trust yourself because you are, you're, you're showing up in your own position in power and as you know the queen of swords so there's something about you having experience okay and you can trust your experience let's get a little bit more to um with the tough and trying times for libra yeah it's right now Right now, you are incorporating ideas, decisions, and confidence um, to help you out of some type of maybe rut or what you feel was negative. See, now you got something brand new and it's positive. So what's interesting is I do feel that right now, you might be feeling something as a struggle, but you can expect some type of good news. 
Um, I was getting the word harvest, and so there is some type of abundant harvest with the Page of Pentacles because you form something brand new, a new phase, a new beginning as well that is solid. Also with the Page of Pentacles, you know, there could be some favor here with money or opportunity for, you know, advancement, growth. Some of you, you could be avoiding someone too. Maybe um, because it's showing up as a page and here you are as a queen, you know, there could be an age difference or a maturity difference here too. But you do need to think about long term and this is where you're going to gain the best momentum because it is something solid with the page of pentacles here. Take care of your health. Some of you, there may, oh, some of you, this won't resonate for all of you, but some of you that have loved ones in the military, or maybe there's something about you being in the military, or maybe you're on a mission. Ooh, you like that? Yeah, on a mission. And so, you know, you're, you're prioritizing things here. Um, and yeah, maybe there is something about a departure here. Um, and that could, you know, bring some, you know, tough times, but, um, you know, especially if you're a, a parent of someone that has to take off like military or something or, you know, just take it if it resonates. It won't for all of you, but I just feel like I have to bring that up. You can rest assured that, you know, th they'll know exactly what to do. You know, I feel that there's someone strong here anyway. So <clears throat> it's like um, after a disappointing time, it's like a surprise here. Something good. Good news. A good surprise. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with that page of pentacles. What else for Libra? Wallflower, look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out. Okay, look at this. We're finding our way out. If you look at this person, they might have like been buried in so much stuff and work and they've been tied down to things and that's my, that might be, you know, um, and now we're coming out, you know, and I'm getting something about your senses being enhanced or there's something about smelling things, you know. Um, so try to dive into your, um, you know, all of your senses, right? Taste, touch, smell, vision, all of it. Look for the crack in the concrete and you will find your way out. And here you are with your swords here, finding your way out. Let's get a little bit more too wallflower yeah, look at that oh my gosh hermit and he's got see he's got that lantern he's looking for a way out he's searching deep within He's trusting his own inner guidance. We might felt like we've, came, I don't know why, but I'm seeing something about, I know it's like snow and stuff, but there's a couple of things that I'm noticing. It's just like, I feel like he came to the end of where he could go. Like, okay, where the hell do I go from here? Right. But you will find your way out. Just start doing things, right? Give your time and your energy and attention to things. Um, that give back to you and look at the scales coming in again. So there is something strong about receiving support. Some of you guys could absolutely be receiving uh, financial assistance or support here. You're going to receive some type of support that will help illuminate your path. And I do see a lot of you um, really being strong here because I feel there's a strong pursuit, um, you know, to give into a situation here that you're meant uh, to give into. So with that six of pentacles, some of you guys, you know, whether it's establishing healthy boundaries, there could be something with finances, you know, trust your ability. I mean, make a plan and stick to it. Um, and, you know, take care of yourself. But, you know, either put yourself in the position position of giving or receiving here, be willing to receive, right? Because what you sow, you reap. And so when you receive, when it's your time to give, then it feels good to give. It, feel, it feels really good to give when people are accepting of it, especially when you're coming from a really good and full heart. <clears throat> you might be getting to the truth too about um, something about relationships, balance or imbalances here. Okay. I mean, that could be for a lot of things too. Time. Your, your money, the people that you're surrounding yourself with or not with, right? 
but I feel that you are, you're making like big decisions, I feel, that's going to affect the rest of your life in a positive way because you're in your power. You're standing up to maybe something or someone that may seem like it's a tough or trying situation. Oh, that's another thing I was going to bring up. I was seeing something about a mountain. Where did I see a mountain? Oh, it was behind the page. Yeah, there's something about, yeah. You know, the mountain could represent a couple of things, feeling blocked or, or feeling success, right? Getting around that obstacle or climbing that obstacle and claiming it. What else for Libra? Serenity, value quiet days with only the rustling leaves breaking the silence. Look at this is this um, hermit. So hmm, maybe you're meant to kind of pause and stop and, you know, just experience serenity, right? We we're talking about your senses, you know, listen, right? Listening the silence. Silence can be a beautiful thing. So here you are doing things that replenish your own energy so that you're able to give when the time is right. Now, some of you, you're pulling away from giving too much. I feel that you are. You really are pulling away from giving too much. You're assessing things or you will be assessing things so that it's, it's more about equality, equilibrium for Libra. What else? Some of you may have a boost with your career by studying more or gaining the resource or person you need that could help aid something with your career or business or projects. Jude's song, a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases. This card is talking to me. A reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases. You find peace within the strangest of places. Interesting, because I feel like this is a strange place, but yet it is a card of contemplation, meditation. Hmm. The strangest places, and we're on a mountain here. <laughs> don't feel hopeless, uh, Libra, even if things don't... See, I mean, this is, a, this is a card of feeling hopeless right here. And I do feel some of you, you have a beautiful voice or it doesn't matter if you have a beautiful voice or not. It really is important to, you know, sing and communicate, even if it's just for yourself in the heavens above. It's really going to help you maybe even release things, um, activate something within you um, that could be a beautiful spark. Okay. So, yeah. You're meant to find something in the most strangest of places. Oh, yes. And look at that. Dare. Take a risk and fly. No wonder that card was like wanting to speak right with that one card there. Okay. What else for Libra? Oh, Libra. Yeah, you're entering a phase of plenty. And notice how these flags are like marking this territory. Remember, I was just talking about that mountain. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, you're going to claim that mountain. It's yours to claim. So yeah, speaking of, you could inherit a mountain. You could buy that beautiful property or, you know, get to a place where you just feel really stable and uh, fortunate for the long term. And yes, this is a card of family. It's a card of traditions. It's a card of marriage. And I do see two um, people. Wow, I was going to say two important people. So, of course, you're important, right? Hmm. I would dare to take a risk and fly here. You never know. Oh, my God. Okay, now I just had to show you because I was seeing the hermit, like, feeling like he came to the end. Like, he's if he's up on the mountain or wherever he is, you know, like, I was seeing, like, the end of a road um, with that in my mind's eye. So, it's like... Hey, you didn't even know you had wings and you can, you can fly. <laughs> so it, it, it doesn't, the road is not going to stop for you is what I'm getting. Yeah. It's not going to stop. You're well on your way to, um, a better life, a life where you can feel like you can thrive, you thrive with others. And that's really important. Libra, right? What else for Libra? Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts or concerns will soon disappear. And the queen of swords is someone who is getting clear. 
taking that sword and like, you know, shooing those clouds away. And by the way, I feel like the Queen of Swords is up on the mountain, actually, where you belong. Mm -hmm. On top of the world, on top of your world, not below, right? You've already been in that part. You've already, you know, you've already traveled there. Now we're, we're going up back over here. Okay, what else? Six of Cups. Somebody might be returning. Hmm. What's up with the Six of Cups here? Could be about memories, though, too. We could be, um, again, getting clear about the past, past relationships, past soulmates, future soulmates. Oh, my. Oh, this is so strange. Okay, so these cards fell onto the ground here. And look at this. Look at this. It's like, am I seeing double? Like, seriously, opportunities, opportunities. And actually, you know, the Six of Cups can... Um, really speak about twins. Oh, so it's like a double, double thing here. Oh my gosh, yeah, doubles. Okay, you might be seeing doubles, huh? Well, hopefully not. It's not your vision, okay? It's, well, hopefully it's not. But anyhow, opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared to dress to impress. And if you notice, oh my goodness, this person is, you know, bringing someone flowers here. Okay. Opportunity opportunities oh my gosh a stranger is about to change your life exciting times and plenty of action plus a special family reunion looks likely the six of cups is a card of reunion so you could have a family reunion a friendship reunion a soul reunion it's going to feel though like a new opportunity this is just so cute how this came out i love how spirit communicates okay what else for libra Oh, Libra, yes, things are going to be going well. Take care of your money, too, for Libra, for those Libras out there. If you feel that you've been a little off or off um, balance with your money, your time, your energy, it's all it goes all hand in hand. I feel some of you guys are really cutting out um, things in your life that just take up too much time, too. Like you're like really getting very um, or you will be getting very clear or sharp about where we can it's not necessarily taking shortcuts but where we can just you know cut it out right okay so um queen of pentacles is sitting real good and pretty so there's a time of great fortune a time that you can enjoy your blessings you can enjoy someone too because you are feeling more than ready there's nothing that you're gonna feel insecure about is what I, I guess I should say. Not that we don't go through life feeling insecure at times, but it's not gonna, there, it's like, there's just, yeah, no excuses. You're gonna live the life that you've always wanted. You're also gonna have a love life you've always wanted too, Libra. So there's strength in, you know, taking care of yourself, um, doing what you feel is right here, especially when it comes to being very clear or a de some of you guys might even be demanding some type of honesty or honest communication as well so that you can figure out what it is that you need to do. But I do see that you are, you know, going into a positive direction um, physically, financially. And yes, emotionally here and with relationships. There's a strong mother appearance that's showing up as well that I feel to Libra. So yes, some of you are mothers or you're mothering something that is very important to you, like your business, your home or, you know, whatever. But maybe you also have a strong mother presence that surrounds you, okay, physically and non-physically. What else? Oh my gosh, you're more than ready here. The star card. Yeah, I feel you're, oh, this is the thing that I was getting. It's like, um, I don't know, maybe I did say this, but it's like, you know, no entrance. It's like entrance for you and the ones, you know, that are, um, that you love or the people that are adding value or support to you. And it's like leaving what you need behind it because we're keeping something very beautiful and as pure as we can, right? Or just lining up to things. Sorry, Libra. Hang on, Libra. I got to scratch my foot. I got something that's tickling my ankle down there. It's my microphone. It's my microphone cord. Okay. Future positive signs will reveal itself. This is all about fate and destiny. 
that th uh, things are really truly lining up for you. All you got to do right now, Libra, is just really trust that for the time being, if, um, you know, if you have to just really try to step away or don't engage with negative things or negative people at this time, a lot of you could be finding that there could be things, oh, I'm getting something, there's a sore. I don't know if you left a sore with someone or you feel like there's a sore. There's something about a sore. I don't know why that's coming out, but you know, the, the car, this the star is about healing that, healing the sores. Oh, that's so weird. That was just very random. But anyhow, <clears throat> let's see what destiny has got lined up for you. What can we, um, what will spirit let us see here with the star card? What are the stars lining up for Libra? Well, look, this card just fell right down. <laughs> Fame and fortune, baby. You know that I'm serious. This is what I heard. Fame and fortune, you know, and, and fame could be at any level, right? You could just be known around town. You could be known for something. Um, or you may just look famous, okay? You may just look famous because we have the privileged lady here. Or a man okay but it is a woman but it doesn't matter this is a general reading but yes we're feeling very privileged I mean Libra holy cow if you're talking about okay there's a lot of emphasis on like incoming resources where it's just it just keeps going I'm just seeing a circle of abundance that goes around you in around in, around you through you <laughs> out of you because this is a place of the flow. It's an easy flow. And I feel a lot of you are getting your finances in order. I feel a lot of you are coming into a place where you can finally rest and breathe, you know, and really enjoy things. So you should, because there's something about you becoming very skillful or that you are skilled at. Prosperity is really um, in your future for sure. Wealth uh, value, independence, it's all in your future. Bringing your dreams to reality, doing what you love. What else? Move. <laughs> oh, some of you guys might even be moving. There could be something about move, but okay. Okay. This is too funny. Look at the um, image here with the ivy on this person. A rolling stone gathers no moss. So just move, right? What feels right for you, right? Don't just sit in one place for some of you. Do something a little bit different. Let's get a little bit more about move. Positive work outcomes. See, you can expect positive work outcomes because some of you, you might have got a little hesitant about, you know, what was really going on um, with work outcomes, money outcome, maybe even love outcome, but it's all going to be positive. You just got to, you know, get moving. Notice those signs, right? Do what you love. Just do what you love. Be with what where you're at. And know that, you know, as you're making these decisions right now, that's part of you making this, this is move. This is movement, right? What else? Planning now. Okay, this is part of you doing movement too. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. No, seriously, it is. Libra, I'm seriously, Libra. Financial gains. Nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles a major like a completion of like success here or you know having enough that's what it is so you better start planning for more stick to your budget though i think that's the key right now especially because i feel that there's a challenge with wanting to overspend a little bit right because we want to make things you know especially for those um just an example like me you know i got my house and so like i'm think i all all these things that i want to buy for my house but i i can't i'm not going to i'm not going to go into debt to buy things for my house so i'm okay i just gotta be patient right so it's just having patience um and, and making sure that you're not digging a hole that we're you know balanced right and that can go as far as you know knowing your worth knowing your time, knowing your energy, where it's being spent, 
And really, what is what are we gaining back? Yeah, if it ain't giving back, why do it? Hmm? What else? <clears throat> Achievement, enjoy the limelight. Okay, look at how she's standing too. Can you just see it? Enjoy the limelight. See, I told you there's something about you looking like a star. People think, I think people think that you're famous or a star, uh, a, a influencer of some type, or they will. <laughs> enjoy the limelight, you've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could, health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. Okay, so the only way around that, you know, if you do, if you resonate with that, because it is a general reading, but most most importantly, the the general reading is achievement. But if there is some struggles or worries about your health or others, you know, just be willing to take those steps right now. It's about right now, you know, and make wise choices and, and do all you can, right? let go and let God and everything's going to be just fine. And I do feel there's something happening with health be becoming more consistent as far as, you know, being healthy. So we might have a new path or a new, even a new friend that could help lead uh, to a healthier lifestyle as well, or give you ideas. I think a lot, I heard a lot of you, I heard a lot of you Libras, either you said it out loud or it's in your soul that where you said, I'm I, something like, screw it. I'm doing my mission. Like I'm doing what I came to do. I'm doing it regardless. Ooh, I love it. Okay. What else? Opportunity. Okay. You guys. Is there something about like threes right now? I was seeing doubles and I mean, how many times? Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Opportunity, opportunities, opportunities. Okay, there is no use looking for it. It's It arrives at, sorry about the focus of the camera. Come on. It arrives at unexpected times. Oh my God, there's no use for looking for it. So look at that. It's like, you know, just do what you want to do. Don't worry about it. It's going to arrive. You don't have to look for it so hard like the hermit might be doing. <laughs> yeah, I feel that you guys really are on the hunt now because there's like something that has really awoken you about, you know, what's going to give back to Libra now? What is going to help Libra? Okay, I, I, I feel like Libra, you've done your part, you know? And so it's about now forming things and doing things that gives to Libra. What else? Oh my goodness, I just dropped some of my cards. Okay, so I got a little bit of a situation that you guys can't see. I've got a card in my lap there's a ten of swords underneath there let's just take this patience wait for the fruit to ripen okay did oh my god and then i just flipped another card but you know what <laughs> libra i'm gonna take it oh it's strength i thought it was a bunch of cards okay good <laughs> strength don't let weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden because you need to be wary of jealousy and i don't know if i brought that up i'm surprised that if i didn't because I kind of was getting this too, but I was talking about cutting away or avoiding negative people. Okay, so watch out. Listen, watch out who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish because your plans will work out, but you don't need to share it. And in fact, I would just keep it to yourself here, okay? Don't let the weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden. So have strength. You know, here you are, a queen of swords, justice. You've got that sword and you're cutting away the weeds that are trying to cultivate in your garden. Because look at this. You're skilled. Look at all the grapes that are growing because you didn't let the weeds grow. Oh my God, I just love this reading right now. Oh, and, and of course, jealousy. I mean, that can, you know, you guys could, you guys heard me, Libra, when I said you might look famous or something, or you just look so, you know, privileged in a sense. But 
Yeah, there could be something about keeping things from even like from unnecessary um, people or family members that are like not close ones or ones that are like exiting out of your life, like ex in laws or something like that. So just take that if it resonates. Anyhow, 10 of swords, we do need to have patience. Look at that. Wait for the fruit to ripen. And here you are <clears throat> with those grapes. You're waiting for the fruit to ripen. And it is. Play among the grass and the wild violets live lie undisturbed little secrets to uncover. <laughs> and we we're just talking about, you know, keeping your personal secrets to yourself. Oh, my gosh. So you might be exploring or getting things. Um, I feel that it's just meant for you for right now. So, you know, get out there and play. I feel a lot of you, you're getting down to the bottom of something or you're pinpointing something or someone out that's necessary right now because it's you're causing great change for yourself. And it's very beneficial. What else? Success. My gosh. See, bloom wherever you are planted. It doesn't matter where you go, right? A, um, move. A rolling stone gathers no moss. And look at this. We have major success. You're blooming wherever you're planted because <laughs> it's already in you. The success has already been planted inside of you. Now you're just expressing it. What else? Some of you guys might be moving your business too or something like that, I'm hearing. Don't fear it. Take a risk. You never know what ha can happen. Twilight. Surrender to the last hour when the light barely touches the flower. Hmm. Just being in a place of tranquility, I feel, and seeing things differently. So let's pay attention to that last hour, you know? dusk what else dusk uh when dusk and dawn meet together Ooh, and that's when the veil is really thin too by the way i'm not i'm surprised high, high priestess isn't coming out but we'll see what else for libra oh there's queen of cups nice we do have a very oh we got a big fulfillment too so keep believing in your dreams too libra I do feel for some of you Libras with this nine of pentacles, there may have been something going on here with your love life or commitment, but you need to stay true to yourself and follow your heart because your heart is propelling you to, towards something really great. Um, and I do see, you know, future partnership of some type. Yes, it can be marriage. It could be business. It could be a mixture of them. But you're also paying attention to your own feelings and guidance. And um, it's like also for some of you too, especially when you have a lot of responsibilities or you're one providing some guidance for others, you are having to take charge of your own energy so that you can also provide guidance for yourself, right? Um, and so that you can stay tuned and not get mixed up with others' energies. Um, and so you can stay tuned into your own and know what's being revealed here. So the stirrings of your heart really is preparing, oh, excuse me, propelling some type of true love situation to you. So how that true love forms in your life is between you and God. What else? And I do see a very favorable soulmate for those seeking a soulmate here. Oh my God, commitment. Hello. Yes. A commitment is indicated around business or love. Hold on. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. All right. Told you. Oh my God. There's your counterpart. There's some, someone too, that's going to make you feel better. So remain tolerant and poise of a situation. Um, don't let the surface of things get to you because deep down inside what's happening is some type of opening here where you can trust the situation. You can trust someone. Yes, you could be falling in love or deepening your love with another. Someone could be like a foreigner or at a distance. Cause look at this, the King and the Queen of Cups are, are the, um, 
counterparts here, but look at the water, right? <clears throat> and so she's right at the shore. Oh my God, see, she, oh, someone's meeting you halfway too. Okay, it's like, you know, you're going as far as you can. That was kind of this thing that I'm picking up, going as far as you can, right? But we do have a situation where you can have patience, you can play, you can give in to the unexpected. Because there, look, what's so funny is uh, the Queen of Cups is looking into her cups. But remember that message that said there's no look, no use looking for it. It comes in unexpected ways or unexpected time. What else? Forgiveness. Oh, a crushed flower still gives off a sweet smell. So yeah, we may need to remain objective or you know, be in a place of just being integrity, not having to prove anything or make it right because your success and what you become will be someone's karma. That's what I see. Because here you are, a crushed flower is not just giving off a sweet scent. The crushed flower has formed into pentacles, into a garden, into a, a, a boatload of fortune here. Because you've changed something in the most proper and honorable way. And this is why you are reaping beneficial rewards. You know, I do feel that you feel like you've been crushed here. Even if you have to start small or over, you have to know, Libra, it doesn't matter. You're on the road to success. You never know when you get to take your leaps and bounds. This is why, you know, for the most part with the people that have been in my life or whatever before I even had the channel is like, you know, don't be afraid to do something different or to start small or to start over. And the fact that I said that I do feel you would resonate with the last SOS reading, which that is the link to that video is in the description box below. But anyhow, it's, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, yeah, I just feel like, you know, you're ready to, yeah, you're ready, to, you're ready for this change and you've been patient enough, Libra. Okay, what else? Oh yeah, I, was, I know what I was trying to say was, you know, sometimes we feel like we don't want to start small or start over, but then what you, what, what people don't realize, and I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you don't realize this, but I do feel like you shared is that when you when you get back up or you stay in this the position of being unstoppable, you know you. Um... Sorry, Libra. I had a little bit of a, a thing that happened with the video. So interesting. Anyhow, what I was trying to say was, um, you know, it, even if you have to start out small or over, there will be periods in your life that you will take leaps and bounds because your experience, you're coming with experience and also possibly some things from past life as well. Okay. So past life memories could be stirring up. That's helping and aiding you right now, or that you could also be releasing. the sacred lotus, compassion in action, the chosen tool. I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel. So utilizing compassion and understanding right now. Oh, that's the queen of swords. Wow, that's so funny. I was picking that up. I meant to pick up the queen of cups because she is utilizing compassion. Um, but don't doubt that the queen of uh, swords doesn't know how to use compassion. She does, but she's discerning wisely as well. Okay, so... Um, sometimes, you know, if you, if you have to just avoid things or situations, but also maybe when, you know, you're dealing with difficult people, I just call, you know, you could just have compassion that they're just troubled souls and, and they'll figure it out. And I know that maybe you felt something had happened here, but it was, it was almost like a beneficial thing anyways, because it's opened you up spiritually here and bringing you some type of success. It was like something was a catalyst and a blessing here to bring you true happiness, true success, right? That leads to a place where it's strong. What else? Oh my gosh. See, I'm telling you, don't be afraid to start small. 
here's your beginnings. And remember what I say, you'll, you'll end up taking leaps and bounds in different um, areas in your life. So don't worry. It's going to be a success. You are a success. What else? Okay. That's it for those. So Libra, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Libra have to look forward to in the near future? Be present, being in the present moment, moment and using the hours, not counting them. Okay, so look at that. Use the hours and don't count them. And, and whatever it is that you're doing, you're just being present to life, right? We're not going to be, see, that's that four of cups where we could really be, you know, drowning ourselves or just in a, just in a state of maybe just not noticing things as much. We might be less hopeful about a situation, but things are going to be bright and I do feel that, you know, instead of just like just being there, you're going to utilize that time with maybe just grounding and, and, and really being aware in soft or quiet. Excuse me. I don't know why I said soft, quiet meditation. And also I'm seeing something, the word present. So I feel that you're going to be receiving some type of a pre present because we got this thing about achievement awards. Um, yeah, I do feel that you will be recognized for something, you know, something that you're doing or something about you. Let's find out how spirit is currently helping you, Libra. Oh my gosh, getting you out of stagnation and bringing great change because that's exactly what you need. So, you know, th this is going to cause some type of upheaval probably. So, you know, spirit is saying, stay calm, you know what to do. Um, but it's not, it's not a bad thing. This is a change. This is divine intervention. So we can, you know, gain and be in a place of something solid. So I also see something that spirit is helping you with some type of, you know, signs, epiphanies, shocking revelations that bring great enjoyment and success and possibly a person here too. Let's see what was behind this. Oh, a time for resting too. Oh yeah. See, I feel that spirit is bringing you situations, um, that you've been praying for. So, I mean, look at the prayer position here, whatever you've been praying for answers, you're, you're, you're getting it. This is how spirit is helping you. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light.